Making a two color print is very similar to a one color print. It obviously means two color separated images need to be scanned and two masters need to be made, but even more so consideration needs to be made about which color prints first versus second and how much ink is applied. Too much ink printed from color drum one can cause slippage when printing the second color or worse, unwanted ink transferring to the second drum inside the printer. The first color tends to be the dominant color even if the second color is darker. Take a look at this image. The blue was printed second because it is darker than the red. Logically, we felt the blue text printed over the top of the red ink would result in nice, sharp, crisp lettering, but that's not the result we got. Compare it to the second example. We printed blue first and red second, and even though the red was printed literally right over the top of the blue, the final results produced the nice, sharp, crisp lettering we were looking for. To make a two color print, you will need a color separated image. Print a color separation of your artwork so that you have two printed pages with each page representing one of the two colors you will be printing. Step one, scan your artwork. Place your artwork for your first color face down on the scanning bed of your printer. The head of your sheet should face left or up depending on the orientation of the design and the sheet should be all the way to the left and centered vertically on the flatbed. Next, you will need to tell your printer you are making a two color print. Choose the first option that says two color print from the user interface on your press. The press will tell you which color is in print position one and print position two. Make sure they are correct for your needs and that the first artwork you are about to scan matches the first color. Adjust the scan settings if you wish and then press start to scan the first color. Repeat for the second color separation when prompted by the press. Step two, make masters. A color preview of the scanned artwork will appear on the user interface. Select continue if the preview is correct. The press will then make both masters. After master one is made, the press will print one copy showing just the artwork from color drum one. The press will then make the second master and print one copy that contains the colors from both masters. This copy cannot be used to gauge image quality or print quality. You must print additional copies to check for that. Step three, print your artwork. Once both masters have been made, you can begin to print copies of your project. We recommend using print speed one and print density one because they are the slowest printing speed and density available. You can also use the print position keys to manually move your artwork up and down and side to side on the printed page. The print keys align to the way you view them as the print comes out of the press, not as it is being scanned. Depending on how tight the registration is for your image, you may need to adjust the positioning to clean up the alignment. We recommend that you only adjust one color at a time. In this example, the red and blue were overlapping where they were not supposed to, so we move the positioning of the red ink. Step four, clean up. When you were done printing, you do not need to remove the ink drums you used, but we ask that you do the following to clean up prior to leaving the lab. Your prints will be wet. Stack them neatly and put them on the drying shelf to dry. We recommend waiting at least 24 hours before using them. Place your original black and white prints on top. Leave a note with your name, contact email, and when you will be back to pick them up. In addition, put away any unused paper in the correct slots on the paper shelf and wipe down the press. If you got ink on the press, we expect you to clean it off. 